So they're just coming to peck you, huh? Yeah. You still have food in your hand. But they think your hair is worms, so Golda's about to peck at your hair like they do with the strings of my jacket. Okay. They keep it. Our Silky that doesn't have feathers on her legs is really, really aggressive. I don't know how to help her not be so aggressive. Ideas are welcome. Well, here we are trying to clean the coop. Of course, they all want to run under the nest boxes instead of out the door where the food in the fence yard is. And Yuki saw them, and Yuki started howling, which sent them back under the nest boxes. And I'm thinking this is a whole lot of stuff to put in the compost every week, so maybe I shouldn't do this every week. I don't know how often to do it. Where these chickens, this is not that big of a room. It's 8 by 12, but... When it is full of shavings and chicken poop and 18 chickens who are afraid to go outside into the chicken run, this is craziness. I, uh, I moved out the nesting boxes and, uh, oh, they came back in, one came back in. I am trying to get all the poop and shavings up and then, um, they are. They just are silly. <laughs> they are not layers yet and lots of them are evidently sleeping in these nesting boxes because I'm finding poop there. So um, what do you recommend for that? How do I keep them out of the nesting boxes? Or do I just let them sleep in it for now if they get used to sleeping there? Are they, is it just because they're younger and as they get bigger they'll um, head up to the roost? The roost is on top of the nesting boxes there. Right now they've been sleeping that little heating plate with that bucket turned on its side and they all crowd in there or the nesting boxes. So just trying to figure out how to encourage them to get on the roost. Oh, she's gonna mess up my pile. That was my last pile. Um, oh, yes, you're big. You are big and pretty. This is our silky with the feathered legs. This is our silky who's rather aggressive with no feathered legs. Hello. Kind of interested, aren't you? Let's see. So I've asked about how to get them outside, and I've asked about the sleeping situation. I guess my other question would be, how often do you clean your coop? This is a lot of shavings in something this big, and how deep do you usually put the shavings? Are you just scattering them, or are you covering it like an inch thick, or trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing? And I've watched and read lots of books, but they don't give me those specifics that I'm finding I want. And I don't know, I am finding like, it's like solid poop surrounded by runny poop. And I'm just wondering, if that's something to be really alarmed about, and since I can't get them to sleep in one spot, I can't figure out who's doing it. So any tips on that would be great too. And I really should finish because it's pretty silly for them to be pecking at the linoleum. <laughs> My compost heap, if I'm emptying all this every week, I'm going to need another compost bin. Now she's an Easter egger and I love those colors. And uh, this one, let's see, here is a red, but the further one there, right there, is also an Easter egger. 
some fun colors with the Easter eggers. We've got some that are kind of yellowish and some that are light speckled and dark speckled. And I love the colors on these reds. Oh, mosquitoes. Girls, you can eat those, you know. You don't have to let them eat me. Okay. Okay. They're getting very interested in me. So maybe I'm just going to have to, maybe I'm going to have to climb out that little door to show them how to do it. I don't know. Come on. Oh, this one's so cute. This is the one that um, was the first one to go outside. We haven't named her yet. They were pecking on her and we put some of that purple goo on her and doesn't look like there's any more blood. I need to get back to finishing this and I know it's kind of disgusting that I'm sitting in a chicken coop with chickens, but it, it's fun in an odd way. My chickens, I cannot get them to go out the chicken door for anything, but I'm out here getting them water and they're lining up. <laughs> That one is just chasing the others back and forth. Well, oh, what to do about that? Oh, look. Maybe we'll just sit out here a while and see what happens. I also love to know what treats your chickens particularly like and if there are any special herbs you give them. It's a beautiful day here today. I'm 